Hi, and welcome to Stamp with Ginny. Today I'm going to share with you how I made this adorable little gingham gala basket. So let me set this aside and we'll get started. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is bring in our 6x6 gingham gala card stock and our Simply Scored board. And I am going to score this at the 2 inch mark and the 4 inch mark. And then I'm going to turn it a quarter of a turn and score it a second time at those same measurements. And then I can set my scoreboard aside. Okay, now that I've got my scoring done, I am going to take my bone folder and I am going to run across these lines so that it's nice and sharp. And I'm gonna do all four sides here. And then I am going to bring in my paper snips. And I am going to snip on two of these lines all the way up to where they intersect. And I'm gonna repeat that on the opposite side. Once again, cutting on those two score lines. Okay, now that I have that, I can decide which way I want my basket to face. And I think on this one, I want the small gingham on the outside. So I am going to add a little adhesive onto these two corners. Just a tad here. You could also use um, glue dots if you wanted to, to make it a little easier. And I'm going to adhere those and press down. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of adhesive on this flap here and adhere. And what I'm doing is lining up those two points. So let me show you again. I'm going to add a little, little adhesive here, one in each corner, to tack the bottom. Bring this center piece up and then line up these two points and press down on those little adhesive spots and then add a little adhesive to the top here. And you can use mini glue dots, you can use um, tear and tape, whatever your preference is. And I'm going to set that aside to dry while I work on the next step. I'm going to bring in a half inch strip of our Whisper White cardstock along with the decorative ribbon border punch and I am going to start by punching. I'm going to slide this all the way up to the end and punch. And if you notice this pattern here is also on the bottom so you can line that up and punch and repeat. And when you're doing that you want to make sure that you're pressing it up against the back of the punch so that it's nice and straight. And one more time. Oops, I went a little past. There we go. And punch. And now I can set this aside. Okay, I've got this strip and I'm going to take my snips and I'm going to simply trim off this little bit of piece here that's sticking there. And I should have about eight and a half inches here, which is what I want for this project. And if you need to, you can go back and punch again on each end. At this point, I'm going to bring in my detailed trio punch, and I am going to line up this piece of three quarters inch Daffodil Delight and punch on both corners. I find this easier to do when the um, cardstock isn't label, layered, excuse me. Okay, so now that I've got that, I'm ready to adhere this piece to this piece. So I can snip off the two ends and adhere. And I want this adhered in the center and I am just going to tack this a couple of places um, using my multi-purpose adhesive. You can use your fine tip glue pen if you prefer to get into all of these little crannies. Okay, and I want one on the end here so that it'll lay flat. And I'm simply going to flip this over, line it up, and lay it down. Now I'm not worried particularly if this end is perfect because the daisy will cover that that I have on the front. So now I'm ready to let that dry. Okay, my, while my ribbon is drying on my Daffodil Delight piece, I am going to punch out 
three daisies. And I like these in sets of three. It just gives me a fuller daisy, and I like the look. And I am going to start by layering these. I'm going to add a little dot of adhesive here in the center. And I'm going to alternate the petals. And then this last one, I am going to take my bone folder and I'm simply going to curl the edges. Now you could do this on all of them, but I like the top one done. And I'm going to add a little bit of adhesive again in the center and then layer this one on top, just alternating it slightly to cover those gaps. Now I'm going to bring in my half inch punch and I'm going to punch a circle from our Daffodil Delight cardstock and I am going to add this to the center. And then I'm going to take one of our faceted gems and I'm going to adhere that to the center of my daisy. Sorry, I don't have my take a pick tool with me right at the moment. So I'm doing this by hand. And I'm going to put that in the center for a little bit of blank. Okay, now that I've got my daisy done, I'm ready to start adding my sides to my basket. And what I'm going to do is simply take my 1 8 inch circle punch, and I'm going to punch a hole in each end of this. I'm just kind of eyeballing it so that you're happy with the placement. And I'm going to do the same on my basket. And I've done it on my basket where I'm about up to the next metal piece here so that I'm fairly consistent. And I'm going in at the um, point, punching one on each side, lining it up with that second metal piece and in the center. And now I'm ready to add my brads. And these are our metallic brads. They're super. They're for all kinds of projects. So I'm going to line that up, place that inside, and then press down. I'm going to bring this one over and place it in and press down again opening those little ends up. And as you can see, that allows the handle of the basket to move, which I kind of liked. And then I am ready to add my daisy. Now, because of the brad and I want the fact that it can move is important to me, I took a couple of my mini dimensionals and straddled the center of the flower so that there's some on each side. And then I am going to adhere this down onto my basket. There you go, it's that quick and easy. So let me show you the original again. If you'd like any of these products, you can get them in my online store. You can get them from my blog stamp with Ginny. Thanks for joining me.